My segment is Grace's Garden. And this is actually a bundle that is featured in our spring catalog. If you have your spring catalog, you can reference page 13. It is a stamp or it is a um, stamp set that will be carrying over, but it will not be carrying over as a bundle. So if you purchase it before June 2nd, you would bundle and save, which is one of those things that, you know, we love to do, bundle and save. Okay, so we're gonna be making two cards with this adorable stamp set. And again, it's called Grace's Garden. Can you guys see Grace? This is Grace right here, Grace the kitty. She is adorable. And so I'm gonna show you a couple of samples of cards that I made, and then we will go ahead and get started. So here's one <laughs> with Grace front and center, and I just colored in several different cats in you know the calico, and we have a couple of cats, the little Siamese up here in the corner, and that's one I made with this and just made a little friend card. And this is a four by four. Sometimes we forget that not all of our cards have to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is a little four by four. Here's another one, super simple, just a little stamp and just added a little grace for a little hello. Sometimes you need just a little hello. And this is just that, okay? And then this one doesn't include grace but this one has the arch and the flowers, the beautiful flowers, and I chose purple. I have to admit, I'm not really a purple person. I apologize if I'm offending people out there, but I love our gorgeous grape cardstock. It's very vibrant and beautiful, so I absolutely love that. And this says, if flowers were hugs, I'd send you a thousand, so it's perfect for that one. And then here's another one, a fun fold. And that one uses the nested labels on the front and it has the, the different flowers and then the little sentiment, you mean so much to me, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is the first card that we're going to make this morning. And this one includes the dies. So this one is a bundle, so it does require a die cutting machine and I use these little flowers or little roses. You can see those three here and the little vines, okay? And this comes with a great deal of dyes. I know, I'm sorry, I'm a red girl, Lisa. So, but I said, I apologize, but I do love gorgeous grape. So there's the, um, the dyes plus the arch and the little arch cutter, I guess is what you would call it or what you use to cut the arch, okay? Go ahead and pre-cut these for us to save a little bit on time. And I used Poppy Parade. That's my um, accent color that I'm using this morning. So I'm gonna start out with my piece of Whisper White and fold that in half. And this is four and a quarter by 11. Use my trusty bone folder here and give us a nice fold. And that's gonna be our card base. And we're gonna set that aside. So I, I have my own little trick that I use my paper, my accent paper, to cut my dies from. So that you don't have to go and cut cardstock, you can simply use the one that you're gonna put right on the front of your card because nobody will know, except for you, that there are little holes in the card underneath. Okay, so I went ahead and pre-cut my roses out of my Poppy Parade. All right, so I've done that already. So I'm going to start by stamping whatever little sentiment I want at the bottom. So we know Mother's Day is right around the corner and I decided to stamp Happy Mother's Day at the bottom, but you could stamp whatever little sentiment you wanted at the bottom, okay? It needs to be a thin sentiment. And we're gonna do our stamping first because, you know, it's early and sometimes not everything is straight, so Ha, huh, I'll take it. All right, so we have our happy Mother's Day at the bottom. And okay, so look, see what I just did? 
I made a little smudge, so we're gonna flip it over and we can use the other side. How perfect was that? I meant to do that, just so you guys could see that. All right, so there's our Happy Mother's Day on the bottom. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I have pre-cut the little arch, okay, with the little, little gate. And you, there is um, a right side and a wrong side. There's a little bit of, um, I don't know, you can see there's kind of a little definition here. So if you wanted to cut the gate in half and if you wanted to open it, like on this one, where I open the gate, okay, you could do that. Or you can leave it closed, okay? So I am going to add this to the front of my Whisper White cardstock and I am going to use dimensionals, of course, right? And my little trick for this is I like to use the outside of the dimensionals. So I go ahead and I trim around the outside Okay. And I have this nice thin strip here. And you see it fits perfectly around the side. So I'm going to trim and trim my dimensionals. So we these are like, you know, liquid gold. So we don't want to waste any of them. And you guys know if you've stamped with me before how much I love my dimensionals. So we are gonna put a dimensional on this side of our gate and a dimensional on the other side of the gate. Or yeah, the gate. I'm, I'm using correct terminology this morning. <laughs> I might need another cup of coffee, but okay. Thank you, Jean. It's not glitching on my end, so um, I'm just going to keep rolling. Let me know if there's a problem. Just keep stamping, right? Our motto, just keep stamping. Like Dory, just keep swimming, just keep stamping. Okay, so I have my little dimensional pieces here. I'm putting them at the top and on the sides. And then I'm going to go ahead, and so you can't see them, which is awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on my card front, okay? Just like that. Hi, Dina, happy Wednesday. Okay, and I'm gonna, I am gonna do this. I'm gonna put a little bit of snail on here so we can go ahead and attach this. And like I said, no one knows that you cut those little roses out of your little poppy parade piece of cardstock, okay? They will be none the wiser unless you tell them. <laughs> you can't see it either, which is great. Okay, so we're gonna pull in our three little flowers, our little roses that I pre-cut with my die cut machine. And I also have the little vines here. Okay, and I've cut three of those as well. And if you need, we have this great tool it's called the take your pick tool and you can see if you need to punch anything out this is perfect nice and sharp you can even poke your stamping partner if they would you know tend to fall asleep you could just give them a little poke with this and no I'm just kidding I don't condone that but um anyway it's a nice sharp point so it helps you um punch out all those little um detailed pieces that you would need okay so I'm gonna start by adding my vines and I am going to use my Tombow for that. And hopefully, my Tombow was awake this morning. It was having a little bit of an issue earlier too. So hopefully it woke up. All right, so I'm gonna put just a little bit. Oh, maybe. Let's see, tiny bit. And I'm just putting little dots. A little Tombow goes a long way. And you don't want your, your vines to be too incredibly hey 
maybe when you fall asleep. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. So we have a little vine on the one side. We're gonna, of course, we have to be even, even vining. So we have a vine on the other side. These are so cute, like on your little, going up your little trellis. Okay, so we're gonna put one, we kind of just tuck it behind and put one on the other side and just tack it down. And again, you can use your bone folder for that too. Um, just to give it a little bit more pressure them with your finger and then the last one we are going to actually add right here in the front okay so again I'm going to use my Tombow and see apparently it needs another cup of coffee too because it is there we go Whew. I'm doing it off screen so you guys don't have to watch <laughs> all right and so I'm just going to I hide the little stems behind the, the gate, and then you have your Tombow there. Okay, so then we're gonna come back with our little roses, and I like to um, kind of squish them around my finger, for lack of a better word, okay? And it just makes them pop a little bit more. And so I'm gonna put a little bit of Tombow in the center. We have three roses, and I'm gonna put a little bit of Tombow in the center of each one and put it on top of my vine, just like that, okay? I'm glad you're enjoying your coffee. Hopefully we are brightening your Wednesday a little bit, Deb, while you drink your coffee. Okay, just like that. And then one more. And this one, the, what I love about this card is you could use any sentiment at the bottom. It doesn't have to be Happy Mother's Day. It could be thinking of you or, you know, I'm here for you, just a little hello. It's just a beautiful card. And you could also change the colors. So if you wanted to make purple roses, you could make purple roses and put them on there. If you wanted to make Calypso coral roses, you could do whatever you would like, okay? And of course, the card is not finished unless we add some bling. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my pointer of my take your pick tool and I'm putting that part away and I got out my little spatula, my Stampin' spatula, and I'm going to use this to add pearls. And I'm gonna put, a, sorry guys, of each rose. That one's just sticking to my finger. So that's just going on as is. And right there, okay? So that is our first card. And of course, I am going to add dimensionals on the back of this before I put it on my card. So you can never have too many dimensionals. At least that's my, uh, my opinion. And the great thing is you can buy dimensionals in a pack of 300. So they come 300 in a pack. So at least one pack lasts me a week. Just kidding. <laughs> so yes, the, the dies are beautiful. And like you said, they're, they are intricate. And so they, they make you look like, you know, the Bob Ross of, of stampers when you use them, which we all love. So Okay, so we're just going to add that right to the front. And then we have a very simple yet elegant card. Okay, so that's our first one from today. Our second one, actually our little kitten Grace is going to make a debut in this one. And you can obviously, you can add the cat wherever you would like. If you want it on every card, you can have it on every card. Um, so, oh, and I wanted to show you, I put this on yesterday, but I made this little can. This, this can has been sitting on my desk. It's a clear paint can. It's been sitting on my desk for, I'm not even going to tell you how long. And 
So I was supposed to be cleaning my craft room yesterday and that, you know, kind of happened, but not really because I made more of a mess, um, you know, <laughs> designing. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. So I made this little paint can and there is a little fence that is in the set. So I put the fence on the outside of the paint can. I glued that with my Tombow and then I put the flowers on the inside using dimensionals. Okay, and so of course there's Grace. And then I at the top, this is one of the sentiments, and then these are additional flowers that are that are in the set as well. So this will make a great Mother's Day gift or even a graduation gift. It has chocolate, it has lotion, and it has a little bath bomb inside. And then I just use some shreddy to put in there and a little ribbon. And there you have a, a perfect gift. So I'm just thankful that I no longer have a naked paint can sitting on my desk. So so yesterday, you know, maybe I'll get, get some cleaning done today, but yesterday was not the day. <laughs> so, all right, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. So you'll notice this one actually has a, the, um, like, I guess the, the arbor is cut out. So this is the die that allows you to do that, okay? So uh, what I did, and I'm not gonna do it for you because if I use my Big Shot, it shakes the whole table and then that's just a whole nother disaster. Um, what I did is I used the card stock. So this is Daffodil Delight. This is four by five and a quarter. And then my Whisper White is three quarters by five. I went ahead and I put those together with Snail and then I cut out my little arch, okay, on that piece. Then I went back, I positioned this over top of my Whisper White card base. I put this on, I ran it through, and when you, obviously when you run it through, <laughs> I should specify you're only gonna run the front part through, and that gives you your little arch and then they will match up and you have the little arch on the front and you can see through your card, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay, so now we are going to take our gate and we're gonna put it around the outside of our card it was just laying here, my gate. My gate has walked away. If I have to, I can cut out another one, no worries. Okay, well, let me show you while we're doing this. These are the flowers that we're going to use, okay? And these I call hollyhocks. And then we have the other two little blossoms down here, so you're gonna layer them and kind of put them in front of the fence, okay? And I'm going to color those. I know, things walk away. You see them, you know you've seen them. It's kind of, you know, kind of like kids sometimes. You know they're here, you've seen them, but gosh, where are they? All right, so let me put this aside. And we're gonna do a little bit of coloring first. So I've colored these first two, so you didn't have to watch me color all four, but I do wanna show you our Stampin' Blends. Okay, so I chose to go with blue, yellow, and pink because I thought the um, it made a nice contrast or a, it coordinated well with the Daffodil Delight. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Blends and I started out with my, here it is, my light balmy blue, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in, and I'm actually gonna use the brush side. We have like the pen tip, the thin side, and the brush side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I just go ahead and kind of color around. Nothing too, you know, too detailed. <laughs> Half my steel, I love it, Jerry. Kindred spirit over there. I get it sometimes. And you know you've seen it, but okay. It's here somewhere. All right, 
And then I'm gonna take the thin, the pen, and just go back in and go over top of these tiny little pieces up here, okay? And then I'm going to take my, I used, this is one of our um, in colors that will be staying with us, the Rococo Rose. And I'm gonna come and I just color these little pieces in. No rhyme or reason, it's kind of just a fun, You can even do kind of little scribbles. Scribbles are good too. And then I came back again with my Daffodil Delight and I used the dark one. And I just went ahead and we'll say that these are daisies, whether they are or not. In Grace's garden, they're gonna be daisies. So we're gonna come back over these. And um, just to remind you guys, there are to-go kits available. So they're free if you place an order of $30. So you would get um, one of each of the cards that we made today. So you would get Barb's as well as mine. So, um, and then they're also $15 if you'd like to purchase the kit without an order. So let us know. We would love to get a to-go get ready for you. Available for porch pickup. Or you can also them as well. You would just have to tack on the shipping for that. Okay. And so I came back with my, this is my favorite, 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 granny apple green, the dark and the light granny apple green. I love for, for coloring in the, um, the pieces of the flowers here. So, all right. Oh, and I have to show you, I came back with my this is my favorite, 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 granny apple green, the dark and the light granny apple green I love for, for coloring in the, um, the pieces of the flowers here. So, all right. Oh, and I have to show you. So the fences, you need a to-go kit. All right, Jerry, I will get that to you because you live right down the street. So we can arrange that, no problem. Okay, so I have to show you when I cut my little um, arch out, this is what comes out. And these remind me of Pac-Man, little Pac-Man ghosts. So I might have to make a card with, with Pac-Man ghosts. I don't know, but that's just what it reminds me of. Okay, so I'm gonna, real quick, thankfully my die cut machine is right here next to me. And hopefully I will not shake the table too much. And I will produce a, there you go, you can hear it, hard at work over here. Okay, so there's the arch that we need, right there with the little gate, okay? And you can use your, take your pick tool or your fingers and just, they come out very easily so you can, so we can see our fence, there we go. As soon as it's, this is over, I will find it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we are actually going to put this on with dimensionals, okay? We're gonna pop this up. You cannot have too many dimensionals for this card. And then we also have our little Grace. So we're gonna add little Grace and I colored her in with, this is my favorite bronze, my favorite brown, okay? There we go. So great, we're gonna put Grace right there so you can see her, she's super cute. All right, so again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just repeating what we did with our other card and we're gonna use our dimensionals and we are gonna cut, you can, <laughs> you can see on this pack, I've already, already used one side. So we're gonna cut this way, okay, just like that so it gives you the nice, that nice little edge there. Sometimes you have that edge left and you're like, gosh, what do I do with this? And you think, hmm, well, I just bought the Grace's Garden Bundle. Maybe I'll use it for that. I'm sure that's exactly what you guys are thinking, right? All right, so again, I'm gonna show you. You can cut this gate and so it's open. So you just cut, there's a little, so if you want your gate to look open, 
you can do it that way too. All right, so we'll, we'll do it open for this one. All right, so again, we are just going to add our dimensionals to the back of the arch, arch, arbor, not sure what the uh, proper terminology is. I'm not up on gate terminology. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit there. And obviously we do not want to put anything here in the center because that would close the card. And they wouldn't be able to open the card and see the beautiful sentiment on the inside. Okay. So let me peel this off here again. And the nice thing about these is you can, you can mold them a little bit to turn, turn the corner with you. So see how they, they kind of, you can make them go a little circular there, even though they're, they're straight. <laughs> All right. And so I just have that piece there. Okay, so then this, I figured you would like that garden, Mary Jane. I know you're a, you're a flower gal, so I, I figured you would like that. All right, so I am simply going to add this right around the arch there, okay? So there we have our, and see our little gate, it's open. How cute is that? Okay, so we are going to, of course, you guys, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put dimensionals on this. So we are going to put dimensionals in the corner and we're gonna use a lot, okay? Because I know a gal, I can get dimensionals at a discount. Her name might be Dory Schneider, okay? So we're gonna put that around and you're just gonna peel this off. And then we're gonna add it Diane, I think you do too, because I have seen your flower gardens as well. And so it would be a, uh, a great, they're a little bit wide, yes. So I just made my own with my dimensionals, trying to use up all my dimensionals. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add this to the front of the card, like so. All right, just like that. And then we're gonna come back and we're just gonna build. So I added my little hollyhocks here, okay? I'm calling them hollyhocks. If they're not, it's okay. Like I said, in my garden, they're hollyhocks, okay? And I'm gonna put those right here on the corner of the gate on both sides. Hey, Brenda, happy Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna add those to the side there on both sides of the gate. Okay, and then in front, we are going to add our little, these little flower images. And so what I did with these, my trick for you is this is already on a dimensional. So we are gonna put a dimensional at the bottom but we're gonna use our snail adhesive at the top. Okay, and I'm just gonna, because if we put, so it actually attaches right to the hollyhock and it's not, sometimes you can't have too much lift, right? Okay, and I'm gonna bring this one over here, do the same thing. So I will use my snail adhesive at the top because it is going to attach right to the hollyhocks. And then I'm going to use my dimensional at the bottom. And you can bring it over a little bit, whatever, wherever you would like it to go. And then of course, our gate is open, but I'm gonna put my little grace right there at the bottom to look like she's looking into the garden. And actually one of the large dimensionals fits nicely right on her little body. And I'm going to put her right here at the bottom. So she looks like she's looking into the garden, okay? And last but not least, we have our little sentiment. And it says, 
Of all the blossoms in life's garden, friendship is the most fragrant. Okay, so I am going to lift this up and stamp this on the inside. Okay, so it's a kind of like a little see-through. Oh, I love that, Lisa, the little bird. Yes, I haven't used him yet, but he is adorable. And um, yeah, Lisa's talking. Can you guys see the little bird there? We'll call him Otis, Grace and Otis. Um, <laughs> so Lisa's going to put the bird on the fence so it looks like Grace is looking right at the, the bird on the fence. I love that idea. So I might have to add a bird too, and then I'll post it but it won't be a purple bird. <laughs> so anyway, so that is our class for today, cards and coffee with the Wexford Stamper and Stamping Always with Dory. So if you do need a to-go kit, please let us know. Again, those are...